uncoordinated and unprecedented. Militants inside Gaza, hundreds of them, according to reports, taking pickup trucks and motorcycles into the southern part of this country. They shot at border communities and also at a music festival where there were more than a thousand people. Right now, Hamas, the group in control of Gaza, says they currently have taken Israeli communities, these villages that sit along the border, and they are holding this territory. Israeli forces right now, amid rocket fire coming from the Gaza Strip, more than 2,000 rockets since this morning, is striking Hamas positions inside Gaza. This is very much an active, ongoing battle. In the distance, we've heard bursts of gunfire. Israeli troops here have set up a checkpoint where they can transfer the injured to bigger hospitals and get better medical attention. But they're also very concerned that the border police here believe at least 60 Palestinians could still be in southern Israel to carry out attacks. Take a look at what it was like just a few minutes ago here as soldiers and civilians who were wounded came to be transferred to other medical centers. A constant flow of civilians being loaded into ambulances here along the Gaza border. People are using their personal cars to drop off their loved ones who were hit by gunfire or wounded by shrapnel. This has been a constant scene along the Gaza border. The military also bringing their injured troops here. Severely wounded soldiers are being evacuated from the front here. There is active fighting continuing in the distance, machine gun fire, as Israeli police believe dozens of Palestinian militants are still inside Israel. There are drones buzzing overhead, attack helicopters in the sky, and explosions every few seconds. A war has erupted between Israel and Gaza. Now, Hamas, the group in control of Gaza, says they have taken hostage at least 35 Israelis. We've seen video online. I want you to listen to this. That's likely from a helicopter shooting at the northern part of the Gaza Strip.